nine things an ISTP really hates. Our MBTI personality types do not only exist to help us understand who we are and why we do certain things, it also exposes much about our interests, likes, and even dislikes. Did you know that just by knowing the MBTI personality type of a certain individual, you can easily know which characteristics, traits, or habits can annoy them? That will be the topic of today's Bright Light video. First, we will get to know what an ISTP hates. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can join a community where learning about psychology is welcomed and encouraged. You can also click the notification bell so that we can notify you whenever we post new videos online. Now that we've got that covered, let's get straight to the video. Introverted, observant, thinking, and prospecting ISTP personality traits are those of an ISTP virtuoso. They frequently pursue their goals without much external connection since they have an autonomous outlook. With curiosity and personal competence, they engage in life, adapting their strategy as necessary. Virtuosos enjoy touching and examining their surroundings with a cool rationalism and energetic curiosity. They enjoy exploring with their hands and their eyes. These people have a natural aptitude for making things, jumping from project to project, creating the necessary and unnecessary just for fun, and absorbing information from their surroundings in the process mechanical engineers and mechanics. Even with these amazing qualities, ISTPs are not exempted from being human. They are not all rainbows and butterflies. They can also get pretty negative, especially with the things they do not like. To avoid calling on the anger or frustration of your ISTP friend, make sure you avoid these things that they hate the most. Number one, when circumstances don't change. ISTPs are moment-focused people. ISTPs are acutely aware of their surroundings and their own bodies. In contrast to some other introverted types who may appear to be divorced from the present by daydreaming, reflecting on the past, or making plans for the future, they actively seek out new experiences, especially sensory ones. And they embrace everything that life has to offer. An ISTP might be found doing something purely for the excitement of it, such as skydiving, indulging in a delicious meal, or taking a corner in their car a little too sharply. If they find themselves getting into a rut or being required to perform the same boring activities repeatedly, ISTPs may purposefully rock the boat or shake things up because they're constantly looking for something new and exciting to do. When something remains the same, ISTPs absolutely detest it. Number two, individuals who are big on theory but not on application. Their intuitive counterparts, INTPs, have a passion for analyzing complex concepts and delving into ethical dilemmas. Yet for ISTPs, experiencing life through their senses, what they can see, hear, touch, and experience is more important. This does not imply that ISTPs never consider profound ideas. In actuality, many ISTPs possess quick intellect in addition to sharp senses. However, because ISTPs are more grounded in the present, they prefer to get their hands dirty and engage in hands-on activities. ISTPs interact with the world via experience rather than through thinking. And they learn best through experience. The introverted personality type unfortunately finds it difficult to learn because courses frequently place a heavy emphasis on theory. ISTPs won't like anything if they can't experience it for themselves. Number three, managing conflict and tumultuous feelings. ISTPs often approach the world logically. Therefore, when it comes to dealing with emotional issues, they can become uncomfortable. In fact, they're probably not the one their friends and family turn to for emotional support. In fact, an ISTP personality may unintentionally come out as cold or even too direct. Similar to this, they frequently keep their own emotions hidden from even their closest friends and family. Yet, it's not true that ISTPs can't handle emotional situations. On the other hand, as they get older, many ISTPs begin to understand the utility of improving their emotional intelligence. An ISTP will detest being forced to deal with high drama situations or being urged to let it all out though. Number four, feeling like they're put in a box. Probably more than anything else, the ISTP personality yearns for independence and freedom they desire the freedom to alter their opinions or course in life whenever it suits them, free from criticism or social constraints. 
They long for a way to live devoid of hectic schedules, tight deadlines, and onerous responsibilities. These things can feel incredibly restricting to the free-spirited ISTP who lives on spontaneity. For instance, the ISTP might back away if their significant other wants to get committed quickly and demands a firm commitment. Perhaps ISTPs will detest a work that requires them to adhere to highly strict norms and standards. Number five, not being given enough time alone. ISTPs may appear swift and self-assured, but in reality, they are introverts who require a lot of alone time. They might use that time to work on their most recent project in their workshop or to work out at the gym and concentrate on their physique. Actually, anything that enables ISTPs to immerse themselves in their senses by themselves will feel stimulating. Like any introvert, an ISTP who lacks downtime will feel stressed out, worn out, and simply miserable. Number six, unnecessary bureaucracy and rigid regulations. A subdued nonconformist, the ISTP. ISTPs may object to corporate culture or other highly structured societies, unlike ISTJs, who feel more secure working in clear hierarchies and highly ordered surroundings. They view everything as superfluous bureaucracy and red tape. ISTPs are aware that order is necessary to prevent chaos from taking over the world, of course. Yet, no matter who or what tries to put too much on them, they will still secretly despise it. Number seven, not being able to move or get up. This one is a sure way to piss an ISTP off. Put them in a classroom or office with endless tasks that should be completed on a desk and do not allow them to move around. Guaranteed, you will have an ISTP hate you for a long time. Tasks and goals are not a problem to them, but you just have to give them enough space and time to do their own thing. Number eight, those who overanalyze and overthink everything. The ISTP, who typically acts first and thinks later, rarely struggles with overthinking, in contrast to many other introverted personalities. They do not like those people who waste so much time thinking about the past, present, and future and only have little time to actually execute their plans. To them, it is important that you work on whatever you need to do right away and not get lost in your own thoughts. They hate those who read into everything first, even the smallest details before deciding. Number nine, polite conversation and unrelated socializing. ISTPs are typically upbeat and laid back, but they're likely to never be the most well-liked person in the room. Plus, they're good with it too. ISTPs typically hang around in the background during gatherings or parties, or they could brag about their prowess at pool or beer pong. Instead of engaging in small talk, they wanna take action. Like any other personality type, ISTPs may certainly learn how to do party conversation, and many of them have developed good social skills over the course of their lives, especially as adults. Yet ISTPs are probably never going to enjoy themselves at a dinner party or networking event since they find all that polite chatting to be a little tedious. They will abhor it completely when circumstances like this arise. That ends our video for today. We hope you have learned a thing or two. If you did, please like this video and leave a comment on the comment section below. We would love to hear your thoughts, suggestions, and reactions. If you want similar videos, do not forget to subscribe to us and click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post new videos. Until next time, bye.